reaching lengths of up to 60 feet and an estimated maximum weight of over 60 tons. The Megalodon is the largest known predator in Earth's history. In this video, we take a look at five alleged encounters with the Megalodon. In his book, Sharks Rays of the Australian Sea, Australian naturalist David Steed shared this story, which some believe describes a terrifying encounter with a Megalodon. In the year 1918, I recorded the sensation that had been caused among the outside crayfish men at Port Stephens, when for several days they refused to go back to the sea to their regular fishing grounds in the vicinity of Broughton Island. The men had been at work on the fishing grounds when a giant shark of almost unbelievable proportions put in an appearance, lifting pot after pot containing many crayfishes. These crayfish pots were around 3 feet 6 inches in diameter, and frequently contained from 2 to 3 dozen good sized crayfish, each weighing several pounds. The men were all unanimous that the shark was something they had never seen before. In company with a local fisheries inspector, I questioned many of the men very closely, and they all agreed to the gigantic stature of the beast. But the lengths they gave on the whole were absurd. But bear in mind these were men who were used to the sea, and all sorts of weather and all sorts of sharks as well. One crew member said the shark was 200 foot long, while others said it was over 100 feet. They were all familiar with whales which they had often seen passing at sea, but this was a vast shark. In 1875, the British ship HMS Challenger pulled a pair of Megalodon teeth from the seabed. In 1959, Dr. Terensky of London's Queen Mary College attempted to date the teeth by studying the build-off of manganese dark side layer on each tooth. Through examining manganese dark side deposition, it was determined the teeth were 11,000 to 24,000 years old. If correct, those findings would indicate at the very least Megalodon may have gone extinct far later than previously thought. However, manganese dark side dating is often unreliable, particularly in dating shark teeth. In his 1978 book Let's Go Fossil Shark Tooth Hunting, author B.C. Cartmel describes an alleged incident that took place off the edge of Australia's Great Barrier Reef in the 1960s. An 85-foot ship experienced engine troubles which forced it to weigh anchor for repairs. Although the men subsequently refused to openly report what they'd seen for fear of public ridicule, the captain and crew later told friends of sighting an immense shark as it moved slowly past their ship. Whitish in colour, they was in awe by its size. It was long if not longer than their boat. Experienced men at sea, they were too certain the creature was not a whale. Novelist and deep sea angler Zane Grey claimed to have had an experience with a massive shark which some believe could have been a megalodon. In the novel Megalodon Fact or Fiction, Rick Emma writes that Grey claimed to have seen one of these giant creatures of the South Pacific, a shark much longer than his 30 to 40 foot boat. Apparently, the shark was yellow and green with a square head, immense pectoral fins, and a few white spots. It's a creature that invokes fear and terror for all who dare to go into the ocean. Found in all of the coastal surfaces water of major oceans, the Great White Shark is one of the world's largest sharks. Known to grow up to 22 feet in length and weigh just less than 3,500 kilograms, Great Whites have been depicted as an apex predator. Stories also exist of them hunting humans. However, the reality could not be more different as humans are not the preferred prey for these creatures. It's thought that sharks actually don't like the taste of humans, and only attack when their senses are impaired, perhaps mistaking surfers or swimmers as seals. However, a creature similar to the Great White but far exceeding its known size and weight has been reported by residents of the Sea of Cortez. This has been happening for many years. The area is situated between the mainland of Mexico and the Baji California Peninsula, it's also home to some of the world's strangest and diverse range of underwater species of creatures. There is one beast that has come to be known as the Black Demon. It scared locals for its thought this creature could be a man-eater, and may have a taste for human flesh. Described as similar in appearance to a great white, the creature is said to be dark in appearance, rather than the grey shade that great whites tend to have on their dorsal area. It's said to be anywhere between 20 and 60 feet long, 
and the size of a school bus. Having massive eyes said to pierce you with terror, its huge tail is its defining feature, seen by many whipping around the surface of the water. Also differing from any known species of shark, it apparently has been witnessed attacking boats, and has also been seen leaping out of the water to catch seals and sea lions, engulfing whole groups whole. Sightings of this creature are rare and no physical evidence has been found to prove the creature's existence. There are many who suspect the creature does indeed exist, and suspect it may be a relic from the past, the Megalodon. The only evidence the creature ever existed are fossils found all over the world, mainly of its teeth which are four times the size of a great white's, and although no complete skeletons have been formed from fossils, zoologists have argued for years over the size and appearance of the creature. But let's look at the facts. To date, we have explored less than 5% of the ocean. Much remains to be learned from exploring the mysteries of the deep. The ocean is the lifeblood of Earth, covering more than 70% of the planet's surface driving weather, regulating temperature and ultimately supporting all living organisms. Some people have suggested that because we've barely explored the ocean, much still remains hidden. This is backed up with facts because each year we discover new oceanic life forms. But let's take a look at the animal in question. Through archaeological findings and research, it's believed the Megalodon became extinct somewhere around 1.5 million years ago for unknown reasons. Although scientists and researchers have claimed numerous theories for its possible extinction. The widespread distribution of Megalodon fossils, in particular teeth, suggest it was a species that inhabited a wide range of marine environments preferring warmer and shallower waters. They were at the top of the food chain and would have eaten large prey such as dolphins and whales. Because the Megalodon became extinct around 1.5 million years ago and their bones have largely decayed over the years, it's proven somewhat difficult for researchers to truly identify the appearance and behaviour of the Megalodon. Therefore, it's only possible to theorise what the Megalodon truly looked like as well as how it hunted, swam and thrived in the ocean. Using technology and our understanding of shark anatomy, researchers and scientists have put together numerous theories. Just like the sharks of today, these sharks were comprised mainly of cartilage. So even though these sharks were immense, the majority of their bodies were not fossilised. Cartilage usually disintegrates too fast for the fossilisation process to occur. Therefore, there are still many factors of the megalodon that we are unsure of. Luckily, teeth have been found and investigated. Because of this, paleontologists have managed to uncover quite a few facts about these amazing creatures. For starters, the Megalodon had three metre long jaws that were laid with rows of triangular serrated teeth that could measure up to seven inches long. These fossil teeth are rare and may be found near warm coastal waters or embedded in various rock formations. Even today, the Megalodon's massive shark teeth are one of the largest teeth of any known animal, rivaled today by only a few animals with extremely long tusks. When it comes to the Megalodon, the combination of large sharp triangular serrated teeth, combined with immense jaw strength made these aquatic animals one of the most fearsome predators to have ever inhabited the ocean. Over the course of millions of years, sharks have changed dramatically in terms of size, and in some ways in terms of the food they consume. Unlike prehistoric sharks such as the Megalodon, today's predators aren't known for hunting large whales, dugons or giant sea turtles. Instead, they're known for consuming smaller fish as the primary bulk of their diet. However, some sharks may also attack sea lions, seals and other small marine mammals. Part of the reason sharks may have lost some of their size has to do with evolutionary changes. This would have made it easier for sharks to consume smaller quantities of food, which makes it easier for them to survive without having to face food shortages. Prehistoric sharks such as the Megalodon needed to maintain a pretty hefty diet in order to maintain its massive body. Therefore, it needed a diet that included large fish, whales and other large animals. Many of the sharks that exist today, however, are able to thrive consuming much smaller food, and at lower quantities than their prehistoric relatives. Being smaller provides sharks with several advantages, such as being able to maintain their food supply more easily, facing less competition for food which allows them to give birth to a large number of babies without diminishing their own supply of prey and being able to adapt better to climate changes and other environmental factors. In fact, two of the most common theories related to why Megalodon became extinct has to do with food shortages and climate change. But my question to you is do you think Megalodon still exists? 
let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.